this story coming up here on one of my podcasting was very fascinating because I was actually thinking about the fact that during the pandemic, there were certain programming we couldn't watch. If you're a big sports fan, then there were a number of years, there was a number of months where you didn't get baseball or some football or basketball or soccer, tennis, golf, whatever you want. There was a lot of times when you had particular programming that was not there. But if you're a cable subscriber, you were still paying for it. You never thought about that? So there's now some word that's being said that more than $1 billion is flowing back to U.S. paid TV subscribers and the forms of refunds and credits. So look on your cable bill next time you look around. You might be getting some money back because, you know, these sports networks were not able to go ahead and give programming back. So pay TV providers, including AT&T, Comcast, Verizon Communications, and Charter Communications, kept collecting sports programming fees even as the COVID-19 outbreak canceled. Sporting events like college basketball tournaments, March Madness we missed, and disrupted pro leagues like Major League Baseball, the NBA, and the National Hockey League. So now after months of unwinding insurance settlements, league payments, and regional sports network fees, the total rebates could be as much as $1.1 billion. So the only winner could be is the customer. Uh, this is from uh, Brandon Ross, an analyst with Light Shed Partners. So the mass says that each video subscriber, say for Charter Communications, will be getting $14 back on their cable bill in return for what they missed. Charter intends to, intends to credit as much as $218 million back to pay TV customers for sports network rebates. So this is basically the idea of, hey, you know what? We need to give back because we don't want any more cable cutting. We don't want any more people to go and write the streaming TV. So let's keep people, the ones that we have, let's try to keep them around, which would not have a bad idea, huh? Verizon remains resolute in their plans to also offer COVID-related refunds to their Fios TV customers. Comcast will also be passing credits along to their customers. And the customers for Xfinity already started seeing some of the credits as early as October 1st. AT&T will provide courtesy adjustments for those customers who pay for regional sports channels from April to July. Customers will receive the amount that the company receives back from the sports networks, but they couldn't provide a total value of the refunds. And then for Dish Network, they're also giving bill credits to affected subscribers along with free replacement sports coverage. This is a pretty smart thing to do. I know it's a bit of a hit for them, and I'm sure... The likes of the ESPNs and the Fox Sports don't like the fact they had to go and do this either. But again, this is some kind of workaround during the pandemic to say, hey, man, we need to go ahead and take care of these people. You know, for those that decided to stick around, pay the money for programming they weren't getting, we need to go ahead and do something kind of make good for all this. Because, the again, the subscription fees are ridiculous. Now, it's not like you're paying over the top, but like I think ESPN, you pay as much as $10 a month in subscription fees as part of the cable package. But again, you're getting their whole list of packaging. So ESPN2, ESPN Deport, not, not I guess Deportes, right? And you're getting Classic and other channels like that. So, you know, ESPNU. God, there's a lot of channels I have. Plus the ESPN3 package that's also part of the digital package. If you're an ESPN subscriber, you probably get that as well. So there's a lot of things you're getting from that. And that was interesting. They put all that together. I think it's a pretty nice thing they're doing. So... Cable gets a little bit of kudos of my end. And we'll leave it there for another edition of When I'm Not Podcasting. Again, remember to go and subscribe, like, and share when you listen, when you watch these videos on YouTube at my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash J-B-R-A-S-C-O-951. And remember, you can find the series through podcast, where many of you find it. And I'm so thankful for all of you around the country, around the world, listen to the show each and every opportunity to drop it down i've been doing about every other week or every other day excuse me so you're roughly getting about four days a week you're getting the you're getting these little mini episodes and i appreciate all of you have enjoyed them as i've been putting them out and i want to continue doing them as best as i can keep it with the schedule to the point that i've also been doing good on the ad sales for the show that i've also decided to go ahead and invest in a new microphone so in future episodes somewhere Right before the end of the right before the end of the year or the start of 2021, you'll hear me on a new microphone that will hopefully sound much better. That will be attainable 
thanks to the graciousness of all of you listening to the program, listen to this program, and listen to the ads that might come across this wherever they might come from. So anyway, I'll leave it there. I'll talk to you next time.